Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. You are welcome. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families, okay? I return to source, I return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and I pray that you reside only in the purest of vibration, okay? Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it's being returned to you, it's returned to you as we speak. All evil and negative plans of your enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled. Judgment is final. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this read. Let's find out what in the name of source is going on here. We have someone that it may be wanting to come towards you to ask for some type of forgiveness. Someone may want to have some type of new beginning with you. But someone did something to you behind the scenes, may have ended your work, interfered with your healing journey, your elevation, your ascension. And someone is burdened by this fact that you may not want to reconnect with them. There could be a feminine energy in here as well that's going through some type of regret, some type of remorse. Either someone was pretending to be healed, but people are finding out that this person is not really healed. Someone was told to walk away, but they chose not to walk away, okay? And now they're burdened because you're going to be receiving the offer that they tried to take from you. People are aware that whoever they were trying to block out of your energy, block from giving you something, is still going to come towards you to give you this offer. And there's a feminine energy that is absolutely burdened. This is who's been pretending to be you, sister, brother. Laura, you know there are comments out here that are, that are actually delusional enough to believe that they can be a better version of the, you know, the, the light workers, the collective. Can you believe that? And they don't realize the entire time that they are pretending or trying to steal a blessing from you, they're cursing themselves, right? They're just leading themselves into a dark alley, just occurring karma and things like that, okay? And oftentimes when people like this are taking action, they never really think about the ramification. I'm telling you, this person can, cannot defeat you. They can't block something. They cannot block your elevation. Oftentimes, when they're doing these kinds of things, they don't think about the ramification. Think what's going to happen in the future, whether it's tomorrow, next week, next month, a year from now, two years from now, even 40 years from now. There's always ramification for the actions you take against an innocent person. So let's say, for example, I was watching this movie yesterday, right? This uh, man, so while he was young, he and this young lady fell in love with one another. They used to go to church together and everything. And, you know, he went and tricked her. He didn't know that she was a virgin. He went, they're, they're walking to church. This was an African movie. They're walking to church. It's a pretty long walk. She doesn't want to be late. She had already lied to her parents to stay behind so she could walk to church with him. So on the way to church, halfway through the, to the church, he tells her that he forgot his offering home and he wants her to go with him so he can get his offering and then they can walk back together. And the little girl is already uh, uh, petrified is the word I'm being given. Petrified, terrified because she already lied to her parents, right? And she's already running late for church or she didn't want to be late for church. So with reluctance, she ends up walking to his house. Now she wants to stay outside of the gate before, um, she wants to wait for him outside of his gate. And she tells him, go in and get the money. I'll wait for you out here. It said she knew something was up. Her parents had told her not to go into other people's homes. Whatever it is, black folks, you know how that goes. It don't matter if you're from Jamaica, Haiti, Africa, U.S., all black folks are the same. We tell our kids, don't go in that house. Stay away from that house, right? Um, if I'm not, uh, if I'm not there, you're not there either. Okay. You, yeah, you all can play out here, but there's no entering into that house. So they get to his house time for him to get the offering. She tells him to go get the offering and he ends up coercing her to go into the house with him. Well, lo and behold, he ends up taking advantage of her or something like that. She, and she ends up pregnant, right? Now, remember, this is the woman he said he loves. She tells him that she's pregnant and he tells her, well, whoever you're pregnant by, 
you need to tell them, I guess, to kind of, um, to help you or take care of the baby or something like that. So he basically abandons her. Apparently, intentionally, he was behind, in the back of his mind, he was trying to kind of push her away so he could leave the village to go to the city, find work, make money, come back and take care of her and the baby. But he didn't tell her that. So a friend is looking like he's just, he is just malicious, right? And because she doesn't know what his intentions are, he told this woman that he loved her and he would be taking care of her. He wanted to marry her, right? But with the way he was moving, it made, her, made him look like he was malicious and spiteful, very vindictive. So she ends up running away because in African cultures, when things like that happen, they, end to, they tend to disown you when you get pregnant at a young age. I would know. I went through the same thing. Hello, folks. My business is being put out there by myself. I'm not ashamed of it. So um, he ends up leaving her kind of out in the cold. He disappears and she runs away while she's pregnant. She goes missing, basically. She didn't tell her family what happened to her, what didn't happen to her. She just disappeared. So like decades go by. Apparently she had cursed him because of the way he treated her and she basically made him barren. He couldn't have kids anymore and he didn't know that she had put this curse on him. And throughout his lifetime, I think this man was probably in his 70s. He had tried, tried, tried to have children, right? He never had any children. He got married seven times never had any children and he kept putting his wives out calling them barren but the whole time he didn't realize that he was the barren one that he had been cursed right so it go time time goes by where he ends up going to a traditional medicine a medicine man work right and the medicine man tells him you're cursed and he said well i've never done any wrong to anyone and if i ever did any wrong i usually apologize and the medicine man told him, yeah, you wronged your first love. Do you remember her? Mind you, when this girl ran away with this pregnancy, she had the baby. She was living in an abandoned home, like an unfinished building, basically. No roof, nothing like that, right? And it just so happened that a stranger came and found, you know, got fond of her. He wasn't expecting any type of, you know, benefits. You know, how some men are. If they give you something, they want you to spread your legs and stuff like that. He wasn't like that. He just took them in like he was being an uncle to them. He put them in a nice apartment. Um, and she said he would give them money from time to time. Like come in one day, give them $10,000 to take care of their, themselves. He told her to start a market. She started doing that. But something happened to the uncle. Um, he got ran over by a car or something. And then her life just plummeted after that, right? And she ended up in like a little apartment. The apartment burned down. She and her daughter ended up on the street. They ended up living in um, a building building as well, right? Anyways, as time went by, obviously he wasn't able to have any children, never. And he desperately wanted to have children. And the whole time he didn't know that he had a daughter out, out there because he had abandoned them. Oh, Lord, it, it was quite a story. So anyway, times go by where, you know, the woman that he got pregnant ended up dying, but she told her daughter, you know, when I, if I don't make it to my father's land physically alive, make sure you don't bury me on any other land, right? And this, her, and she said, take me to my husband's land. So after all of these years, she was still fond of this man that had abandoned her. And this is how much she loved him. This was like truly her first love. Even though he had done so wrong to her, she still loved this man enough to want to be buried on his property, on his land. And he did own land. Um, so she ends up passing away. The daughter didn't know much about the family because the mom had ran away and everything. Um, but it just so happened, you know, things happened in a way where she, they ended up reconnecting. And the old, the man now is old, the one that had gotten her mother pregnant have been struggling to have children all these years. Like, that is just an example of how something can follow you and you don't even realize it. All those years that he was trying to have children and couldn't have children, he didn't realize he had cursed himself in a sense and that woman had cursed him because of the way she treated him. So that's what I'm saying. The actions you all take, you all that are so 
set on destroying other people. You're wondering why certain things don't go right in your life, why you can't find a good man, you can't find a good woman. It's because of the things you did to other people and you don't know the curses those people have spoken out on upon you justly because of actions you took against them. If that man had actually owned up to his uh, promise to this woman that he was going to marry her, even after she was pregnant, he wouldn't have gone through all of that. Okay, so there are always consequences to what you do in life. I don't care who you are. You can be Bill Gates, Oprah Winfrey, whoever. You can be a celebrity. Nobody cares about that. The universe does not care about your status. Your soul, your soul ascension, your level of ascension, your elevation, how willing you are to learn and heal and things like that is what matters to the universe. So you can have all the billions of dollars in your wallet, your bank account. All of that is irrelevant. And know that there are people that walk amongst you that do have the ability to speak these curses onto your life and where it does stick hold and it sticks to you until you wrong your right. Do you know what he had to do to, to right his wrong? They told him he had to marry the dead body of that woman in order to break the curse. Because why? He had made a promise to her. That he was going to marry her when she was alive right when they were younger and she held that promise close to her chest mind you that these people have separated and decades have gone by that woman never got married never lay with another man because she held that promise to her heart so they told him in order for you to be free from this curse you have to marry her body and that's what he had to do that's what he had to do. And then he went to apologize to the long lost daughter. She didn't even want anything to do with him. And sometimes that's justice. Because, like, you have to imagine what that girl went through with her mother. Living in an un unfinished home. No roof. Probably when it rained, it was raining into that, uh, that house, right? That unfinished building. They're homeless. They're out on the street all day selling oranges, basically, to make money. No one's there to help them. Just all kinds of stuff. That's what that girl is thinking about when you go to her to tell her you're so sorry for what you did to her mother. She's not thinking about all of that. She's thinking about everything you've done to her. And I know sometimes we say we need to leave the past behind. But if the past is 40 years long, if the past is 20 years long, that's a long behind you're talking about. That's a long leaving it behind you're talking about because these are things you probably need to heal from. You can't just leave that behind. I'm just being real with you all. Something's been going on for, what, 10, 15, 40 years? You're not just going to drop it. You, you're going to have some type of un, un, unhappy energy towards someone. I don't care how big or small it is. You're going to feel some type of way about that person. And them asking you for, for forgiveness may even piss you off. We're just being honest. It may piss you off that this person is asking you for forgiveness. They say, I don't want to hear you right now. I don't even want to see you. I'm disgusted by you. Okay? So anyway, someone here is about to go through the same thing. They've been trying to defeat you, take something from you. And someone is about to go through an ending they could not imagine. Like someone has been purposely interfering with another person's life. They've been really like trying to defeat you because they think they deserve something that, and you don't deserve it. But this is something that's destined for you, okay? Someone knows that a masculine is coming towards you to balance something out. This masculine has a confession to you. Like, man, honey, all these people have some type of confession. They had a hand in something that had to do with you either losing your finances, your stability, something like that. You could be someone that started off with these people in... I'm telling you the God's honest truth. You could be someone that was like in the six of wands energy when you met these people. Like you were independent. You had overcome a lot, right, in your, in your life. I don't know how old you are, young, middle age, old age, whatever it is. You have overcome a lot when you encounter these people. But someone is very jealous of you, very intimidated by you, and they've been pretending to be you, trying to block you from receiving an offer. Someone has made it their mission to defeat you, but they cannot defeat you. And this is the God's honest truth because you, you, you're the one in charge of your destiny. You see things for what they are, even if someone is trying to come in to pick a fight with you. Honey, they don't stand a chance. Because you already know what it is they're about. Every single person in the situation. And sometimes that's how spirit has it set up. People will be taking action against you. And they don't know that you know they're betraying you. They don't know that you know what they're doing behind the scenes. 
and you'll wake up every day and get in the midst of these people, smile with them, treat them with kindness, you're courteous to them because that's how your ancestors have told you to be because they already told you, hey, darling, the victory is already yours. You don't need to lower yourself to these people's level, right? You have nothing to prove to these people, collective. This is why your, your angels and your ancestors will tell you that. Like, hey, don't even react. Let them do what they want to do. They're only breaking their own hearts and they're going to find out very soon. Someone is burdened. I'm telling you, someone is burdened because this is still coming into fruition. This, this could be a business uh, opportunity that's coming your way, a love opportunity. Like you could be connecting with who your soulmate is, your soul twin is, honey, and someone is heartbroken about that. Whoever this is is coming towards you as well. It's heartbroken because they may have betrayed you. And, and like I mentioned earlier, they're going to have to confess something to you and you're going to have to decide if you want to move forward with this person. This is that someone either tarnishing your work. Let's say like me, I run, a, a, so I do terror, right? I have a social media platform. Someone comes, like a masculine comes and he doesn't know the full woman about me. And someone goes and tells him, hey, she does this and she does that. She's in the voodoo. She throws a uh, spell work at people. She's lazy. She doesn't like to work. She's rude. She's this, she's that. And instead of him, you know, coming to me and asking me, hey, why is this person saying all of this to you? So I can tell them, I don't know. And I simply don't really give a crap, right? Because I really don't know. They didn't say nothing to me. They said something to you. I know I'm not like that, but instead of him doing that, he partners up with her to try to destroy your career, destroy my platform, right? Now the truth comes out that you are actually someone that's educated, very dedicated to your work, a bit feisty, but very uh, loyal to the people that you care about, right? Highly intellectual is what I'm being told. And now he has, now he realizes that he has some type of contract with you and he has to come back to you. Now he has to apologize to you and tell you how he tarnished your work or how he tarnished my social media platform and, and stopped it from growing, right? This is like immediately your platform is supposed to go viral and someone goes in there and interferes with it. And they're sitting back feeling proud about what they've done to you, you know, high-fiving people behind the scenes, not realizing that the whole time the person they're working with or the people they're working with to destroy you are laughing at them. Like they're a freaking joke walking around. Now they have to come and apologize to you and see if you're even going to entertain their madness. This is what's going on. And someone in here is burdened by this. They are burdened. And collective for some of you, as soon <laughs> you're worried about something, but you're about to go through some type of growth and someone is going to try to defeat you, but they cannot. This is your new beginning that is ensured to you. And spirit is telling you, you better absolutely stand your ground about uh, to this Jizzy Bell energy. Nobody has time for this nonsense. It's 2024. Either grow the heck up in you or step aside and get out of our way. We don't have time for childish behaviors. Some of these people are too old to be playing games. I'm telling you. Too old to be playing games. Grow the heck up. Sorry, your mom and dad were not there to teach you right from wrong. Some of us mom and dads were not there either, but we still turn out okay and then go around stealing from people. Someone is exposed for all the foolery they've been doing behind the scenes. Someone may be like sneaking away from a situation, but let me get the heck up out of here. It is my time to go. I am out of here. I've outstayed my welcome, right? I have outstayed my welcome, okay? So, but someone is burdened by you, collective. Burdened. <laughs> when this person sees you, ooh, it irks them. Is there this mother sucker won't die? He said, this motorcycle won't die. She won't shut up. She won't go away. He won't shut up. He won't die. He won't go away. And you're just like, absolutely in that order because I'm in charge of my own path. You need to figure your S-H-I-T out because this here, honey, ain't what you want. It, it, this, not, this is not what you want. Okay? But someone has been very committed to trying to hide the truth, but you're being shown as the truth. Okay? You are being shown as the truth. Someone may be trying to come towards you, give you some type of message to get you out of your energies. Like, say you're all peaceful and calm going on about your life and someone wants to come in and bring chaos and you're just looking at them like, um, excuse me, 
Who are you again? What do you want? Who did what? I don't care about none of that. I'm going to need you to <clears throat> leave me be. These are people you probably have blocked. You're not even entertaining them. Not mentioning these people. <laughs> and all of them, their lives are focused on you. Their lives are centered on you while you're living your life, growing, ascending, educating yourself, living in your truth, taking charge of your life, having victory as destined to you by the divine. There could be something in here about a child that's going on, honey. Hopefully that gets figured out. I don't know if there's like a negligent mother in here or something. And then neglected her child. Something may have happened to the child and there could be Ooh, some type of investigation going on. I'm telling you, you're taking charge of your life. They're trying to cause you burdens, but this is you saying, uh-uh. <laughs> I'm going to need you to stay over there. I don't care what you think of me. I don't care who, how many people you're partnered up with. I really don't give to SHIT. Stay over there and leave me be. You need to go figure out why it is you think it's okay to partner up with a group of clowns. To try to tear someone down or destroy someone else, you need to figure out why it is you're okay with that because that is questionable. You're giving suspicious vibe right now when it comes to your mental. You may not be all the way there. You know, sometimes when these people see us, us star sees the way we move and stuff, we seem to be a little bit light on our feet. We can seem to be a bit of an airhead, which I know a lot of people have assumed that I am when they, when they meet me. And I'm okay with them thinking that, and I play right along with it. I'll sit across from you, and you can think I have an IQ of 54. I'll say I'm okay with that. <laughs> because, first of all, <laughs> I already read you before you came through the door. Before you even said hello, or at hello, I already read you. So... Me going back and forth with you to prove that I'm not, my IQ is not 54, is a waste of my time. You're not worth my time to be proving anything to you, okay? Mm-hmm, honey. You're not bonded by nothing. Someone has been working hard, hard to block you. They don't want you having success. They don't want you having love. They don't want you having happiness, being balanced, being content. They want to shake you up, rattle you up. Someone went to go shake a snake and they found out, they thought it was not poisonous. They found out it was a rattlesnake. They said, doo -doo 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 -doo. They said oh shoot, we picked the wrong one. Yes, you did. That venom is about to get you real good. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. <laughs> Someone is trying to defeat you on your own path, your own destiny, your own soul contract, but they cannot. They're, they're, they may even be trying to block a masculine from coming towards you. They cannot. This person has had enough of this woman, whoever this is, or uh, enough of this institution. This man has his sword pulled out. He said, I'm done. I'm going to the person with honor. I'm going to go partner up with them. I know the truth about this abundance, this Whatever this is, whatever this abundance is, he, 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 he knows who it belongs to or whoever he wants to work with, he's sticking to that. Someone has found the truth out about you, collective. They know you are someone that's telling the truth. Someone may have told him you were just gossiping. You were just trying to cause problems. You were messy. No, this man found out the truth. Someone was trying to defeat you and he realized that this person is not able to defeat you. This is why they've been going out of their way to, to destroy you because they have a lot of skeletons in their closet they don't want exposed. Okay? They have a lot of secrets in their closet they don't want exposed, but it's all coming out exposed. And while their skeletons are coming out, this <laughs> this masculine is sneaking away. He said, oop, do, 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 do. I'm out. But yeah, I deal with that. I'm done. She could have even been telling this man, please don't, please don't tell them what I did. Please don't tell them the truth. Please, please, please don't do this. And he's just looking at her like, you can please, please all you want. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. But someone is worried. Worried by someone another a masculine going to another energy because she knows you and this person have a soul contract and she thought pretending to be the person you have a soul contract with was going to lead to you kind of 
changing your mind or a source was going to change something up and say, hey, you know what? I know I said, you know, you belong with this high priestess, this empress energy, but it looks that things are working out with this, with this Jizzy Bell, this karmic real well. You know, this change, this heal. You can just stay over here. She thought that's what was going to happen. Listen, these contracts, these contracts, these spiritual contracts, these universal contracts are binding. They are so binding that they are uh, voiding these contracts is the very last option on the list of things to do to heal the contract, to fix the contract. Voiding it is the absolute last thing on there. So you can pretend all you want, Jesse Bell, to be someone of high honor. The truth will always be exposed about the person that you're trying to block, trying to be, okay? I'm telling you, the truth will always be exposed. Not only does he see this woman as someone of high honor, high moral, he sees her as a wish come through. There is nothing you can do. These people resonate on a spiritual level. That is something you will never understand. Never. That's not something you're even going to have in this lifetime or in quite a few lifetime, madame, if I may say. You have a while to go before you can even uh, uh, manifest some type of genuine connection with someone because you don't realize what you've gotten yourself into. Okay? You don't realize it. But you're about to find out. I'm telling you, this man sees this woman as wish fulfillment. He said, oh, this motorcycle used to get on my nerve. But okay, now I see you, girl. I see you. And there's something I'm being told that whoever he's seen as a wish come through, whether it's the King of Swords or someone else in the background, this woman brings the inner child of this man out. It's hard to find people that do stuff like that. You all know we have to walk around with a mask on our face because of the things we've been through. We don't want people judging us and stuff like that. Even those that are healed, we still have things that we keep on the inside. They're not, they're not hunting us, but we rather just keep them on the inside of us. Someone brings the inner child of this man out. Someone was not able to defeat him. They couldn't bond him to, to them. They were trying to either bring legal issues to this man. They couldn't do that. Or he may be free now from that mess. His mental, he's taking charge of his life and freed himself from this bondage that someone tried to enforce upon him or an institution tried to enforce upon him. All right? But this man here, the woman he has his eyes on, Wish come through for him. He said, oh, shoot, this heifer used to get on my nerves. Always talking about this and that, this and that, this and that. I like her just the way she is. Like, you heal this person in some way that another energy cannot. And she has gone through an extensive length to pretend to be you. But she's being exposed. Like, he's looking into stuff. He's looking at everything she's been doing. And everything you've been doing, and it ain't matching up. She's not giving empress. She's not giving high priestess. He's seeing like, oh, this sucker is manipulative as heck. She's, I'm telling you, illusions. She's been causing illusions. Illusions, and he's getting away from her as fast as possible. He's like, mm, 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 mm. I made a wrong turn. I made a wrong turn. I am going to go up here now. And talk to this divine feminine and see if we can work things out. Now, I know I'm going to have to confess everything I did to her. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay? He knows that that's a bridge he's going to have to cross. In order to move on the other side. Because he wants to heal with you, grow with you, build with you. Honey, that man is sneaking away. He said, uh-uh. I see the monster behind there. You can't fool me anymore. You're not a divine feminine. You told me you were. And I know I believed you before, but um, you know something? I see the truth now. You you, you had me fooled. I was boo-boo the fool for a second there. But right now, uh-uh. Nah, I'm tired of being boo-boo the fool. I'm, I'm going away. I want to heal. I'm done. And just like that, he's out of there. He's out of here, man. Out of here. Get out of here. I'm telling you. 
Get out of here, man. Get out of here. He said, I'm out of, I'm out of here. So he's sneaking away and he's losing quite a lot. He's not just losing a relationship or relationships. He's losing finances because of the fact that he's walking away from something specific. Either he's going through some type of separation. They could have a court case going on, right? But he's moving away, leaving, right? He wants to start over brand stinking new. Rip him through the plastic bag. He's feeling brand new. There could definitely be a court case going on with someone in here for some of you collective. But this man wants to free himself from bondage. Something just in, something ain't for him no more. It's not giving what it used to give. I'm telling you, it's not giving what it used to give. This man sticking his power back and wanting to go somewhere else in order to grow. He may be trying to send you a message. Someone may be trying to even block that message. You know, I don't know what uh, what's up of 2024. It's been a whole year of just, it's been like what? January, February, March, April, four months of people blocking messages, messages and messages. Just a blocking and blocking. Try to call you. They interfere with the call, redirect it to something else, or the voicemail. Try to text you. They block that. Uh, your email. Yeah, they say, uh-uh, you can't get any emails. Right. Your mail. They're like, nah, 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 nah. Redirect her mail to another address. She, she We don't want her getting something. Been a whole lot going on. A whole lot, whole lot. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. That's from I Am Zoe's channel. I don't know. That's a catchy uh, phrase. <coughs> that, that dude is hilarious. Anyways. Impress you could be receiving some type of communication. Okay, I'm telling you. <laughs> I am telling you. <laughs> yep you could be receiving some type of communication about a betrayal about a lie this man may not be working with a, another energy anymore that he sees her for exactly who she is that this is someone that's overly critical of other people she's been manipulating him playing mind games with him right and he's just done. He said, I can't, I can't be around this anymore. It's done. Like there's, like there's a, there's a queen of, queen of swords in here somewhere. This is not you collective. This is someone that's just, I was going to say, <laughs> this woman is going through some type of ending. She's been pulling tricks behind the scenes to make things go in her favor for a long time. May have stolen something, lied about something, tried to block and interfere with someone's path, finances, someone's security. She didn't want someone feeling secure. Now she's going through adversity herself, going through an ending, right? Someone may have stolen either a job position. There's something here someone stole. Someone is a liar. They're unhinged. There could be a masculine in here as well. I'm telling you, these people here are going through endings. They're going through endings. Everybody is going through endings. Even you collected, but you're upgrading. These people are downgrading. Never go out of your way to destroy anyone's life. I don't care what it is they have that you want or you feel entitled to. You're not entitled to anything. Console can change their mind at any time. If you are not sticking to the contract, they say you, you agreed to this contract before you incarnated, correct? And you're like, uh, uh, well, I don't, I don't remember. Oh, let, hold on. You don't remember? Okay. Hold on one second. Hey, roll out the screen, roll it out. And they open their little fancy thing and they show you everything you agreed to. This is the moment you agreed that, you know, you will do this, you will heal, and then you will help heal the rest of the world. And then you're telling them, well, you all didn't tell me about the in-between, the sauces that you put in there. We don't have to tell you that. It's for your growth. See, you've been criticizing someone because they're you and they don't act, act like you, right? You've been criticizing them, saying that they're weird, 
they say weird stuff they're clueless because they're talking about healing and they don't act rashly like you when people do things to them they don't overly react they don't get angry and stuff like that this is what we were trying this is what we've been wanting you to do actually we've been wanting you to heal we've been wanting you to stop picking fights with people we want you to stop pretending to be this star seed. you're not there yet it's going to take time for you to get there you have a whole lot of karma to pay off giving you a whole speech about yourself just a humbling you humble that self before the council someone someone is going through a humbling experience humbling experience okay this man was not seeing things clearly before he was blinded by a lot of manipulation and i don't know if it's this king of swords it could be this king of swords or another masculine behind the scenes but someone was not seeing the truth clearly okay and they've been interfering with justice or balance being burnt into a situation all kinds of stuff there's a wife energy here going through some type of ending as well a mother figure i'm telling you mm -hmm. the truth is exposed about someone either a wealthy girl wealthy woman <clears throat> she's not receiving an opportunity something has been exposed about this woman that she's been partnering up with people to bring chaos bring conflict towards a queen of cups that did nothing to her Something is exposed to her and she will not be receiving an opportunity. This is what this is. Someone feels very much entitled. Like you should like I keep saying, do not feel entitled to anything. This is why the surprises are put on our paths. Why spirit, why console puts these surprises on our paths to test us. We are all being tested. We are in a classroom on this planet. This is a whole school we're in. And we're being tested. You all have watched the Hunger Games. You know how they put them in their crazy place and they all had to survive. This is kind of like what we're in. Except, you know, we have the beautiful birds and butterflies, the sun shines and stuff like that. You have the rivers flowing in places. You get to go see them at night. You get to see the beautiful stars and moon, you know, just the up there glittering, shining and stuff. Just the glowing up there. And then in the daytime, you get to see the sunlight. But all that beauty around you, there are lessons you're supposed to learn because why you have other snotty nose just like you out here causing problems and you have to learn how to maneuver your way through those problems without destroying other people, causing harm to other people. The moment you think the way for you to ascend or to make it in life is by destroying other people, you fail this class. You're gonna have to repeat. <laughs> You're gonna have to repeat repetition. You're gonna have to repeat this class. And some of you are stuck. You don't realize you've been stuck for a long time, many lifetimes. Someone in here, you are with a Jizzy Bell energy. This is not your first rodeo with this woman. You've been with this woman for a few lifetimes. This has came up in one of my readings before. A masculine has been defeated by a Jizzy Bell energy three lifetimes this is the fourth lifetime and if you don't get it right this lifetime you're going to be stuck with this woman again next lifetime like you all don't understand that this go deeper than what you see on the physical it's deeper than the physical but a lot of you are just so you know face value superficial that that's kind of like the men that just date women because you know they have the the big butts the big breasts and all of that they look like the Instagram model and things like that. Uh-uh. It's deeper than that. And then you have the brothers that have common sense. They don't care about how much butt you have, how much uh, uh boobies you have and stuff like that. They actually want a connection. That's what emperors want, an actual connection, right? Like an emperor wants an empress. He doesn't want... A, a, a queen of wands just because she's beautiful. He wants an actual empress. And sometimes if they can't get an empress, then they'll go for a queen of pentacles because they know that's a mother figure, that's a wife, that's a businesswoman. She's down to earth, easy to talk to. She's very understanding, right? Non-judgmental. She has common sense. She's pragmatic, 
practical out of those. This woman here, whoever this is, is burdened. She's burdened. It's like, I put in all this work. I got everybody to deceive him about her, and he's still going to her. Yeah, he's still going to her. You're not getting that offer, darling. Like I told you, these contracts are deeper than the physical. You are with a man or you got with a man just because he could either provide you finances or because of how it looks. You came into someone's life to use them. Meanwhile, this person has a whole contract with someone else where they're supposed to be healing together, healing the world, building businesses and a, a whole empire. And you're out here just focused on spreading your legs. Nobody has time for that. Any woman can do that. Any woman can spread her legs for a man. What else can you give is the question. And please don't be talking about the stuff you've been pretending to be. Pretending to be educated. Pretending to be uh, uh, down to earth. Pretending to be logical. Pretending to be calm. Pretending to be living in your truth. You're not. I'm telling you, there's a friendship in here, some type of relationship. This is from someone, this is with someone from the past, Collective. I don't mean that this is someone you dated. I know a lot of you, when you hear that you're going to be reconnecting with the past, you think it's a lover. No, it could just be someone you either work with, went to school with, went to church with, or just hung out with or something like that. This could be someone you probably didn't even see as a lover in the past, but you didn't, you all didn't, you two didn't know at the time that you had a soul contract. But the universe allowed you two to come into each other's energy so you could kind of be a little bit aware of your of each other when you do reconnect. And for someone in here, there was a woman put in your life so you could see what it is you could have if you changed your path, if you took the time to heal. The universe allowed you to meet someone so you could see this is what you can have if you if you only do the work to heal, to self-actualize to tune out all of these karmics. That's why you met someone. And you may have met someone and you probably terrified this person because you did something and you thought they didn't know that you did something. So you probably terrified this person away. Uh-huh. 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 This was coming out in the reverse. There's a queen of pentacles. In. This woman has been coming out in all the readings. All the readings. Sister is out here going through a whole loss. And she's still focused on another woman. Make it make sense. This is what happens when you are not you. When you're not focused. You know that mind your business stuff our parents told us when we were growing up. Some people didn't learn that. Some people didn't take heed to that. Like some people actually made it their business. Yeah, she, she has something against you, Queen of Cups. She actually made it her business to be into all the people's business. out here waiting for a whole offer and she's being breadcrumbed she has someone breadcrumb you and now she's about to be breadcrumbed it's a oh this is what it feels like it's a yeah that's what it feels like you had someone breadcrumbing someone else because of jealousy and intimidation you were intimidated by this person so you had them breadcrumbed by someone else now you get to know what that feels like telling you karma karma and sometimes, like I said in the beginning of this message, karma may come down the line 40 years from, what, from when you did something to someone and it's when you least expect it. That's when everything just starts coming in. Boom, 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 boom. And you're like, oh, I haven't even taken care of the first one. And you're like, we don't care. Boom, 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 boom. That is just round one. Round two, and you're barely even able to get up. You're on the ground talking about help. I've fallen and I can't get up. And there is no one in sight to help you. Okay? 
This is why I say when people are being wicked, let them be wicked. Let them be wicked. Because when you try to interfere, you're interfering with karma. You're interfering with the hand of God. Okay? You are interfering with the hand of God. Someone here from the past, you dated someone as well from the past, they want to have a new beginning with you. It's not happening. You don't want nothing to do with this person. Someone from your past could be sick. This could be a feminine energy that's sick. And she may not be recovering because of all the things she did to someone else. And she thought she had done a good job at hiding it. And But she knows. I'm telling you, she knows that you're going to be receiving the offer that's meant for you. And they're all burdened by this. They feel betrayed because they feel like, oh, we were working with this man this whole time. We thought he was part of the team. This man is looking at what mother effing team. Like you all have him go down the wrong path. Mind you, he does need to take responsibilities for his own actions, but they did coerce this man into destroying something for another energy he had no business doing. Someone who's worried about coming towards you said, is she going to accept me? Is she going to forgive me? Is she going to yell at me, chew me out and things like that? Guess you'll never know, sir. You'll have to go to the collective and find out. You'll have to go and find out. Someone is burdened, though, about this man coming to you to tell you about how he betrayed you and destroyed something for you. I'm telling you, he's going to have to, no matter how heartbroken he is, he's still going to have to tell you. You're still receiving the good news. There's something here about a child. I don't know what it is about this child. I try not to really touch on children's topic on my channel, but there could be a child that's not doing well because the mother was negligent with the child. There could be something where the child is sick. Maybe some type of accident happened. Um, when you partner up with this masculine, you may end up having to be the nurturer of this child. Like maybe the mother was mentally, verbally, and emotionally asif to this woman, I mean to this child. And you as the new, maybe guardian or parental figure coming into this child's life collective, you may be the one that's going to nurture this child back to health with compassion. Maybe because he's never received that from his mother. There's something like that going on. There's something like that going on, okay, with some of you. But I see a lot of, I see a couple of children cars out here. So that's why I'm mentioning something about a child. There could be something going on about a child in courts. I don't know if, if it's like who gets the child, who gets to keep the child who has, who has visitation rights, something like that, okay? But some of it, this, these people, they celebrated a little too early because this masculine is still coming towards you to make this offer. He still wants to build with you. <clears throat> he still wants to build with you. And what he's going to have to tell you is that he made some type of horrible, <clears throat> excuse me. He made some type of horrible decision in the past to end your business, your income, something like that. Because he thought it was going to be wish fulfillment, but he doesn't see it as wish fulfillment anymore. It's haunting him. Like he did something to an innocent person because of something other people told him. Okay. And someone is seeing the truth about you, honey. I, I keep being told that. They're seeing the truth about you. They hide, they hold you in. But they, they think very highly of you. <clears throat> and what I'm being told is that because someone, basically they're reflecting over how things went. How, yeah, he, he thinks very highly of you. He's reflecting, reminiscing about how things happened in the past and he's realizing how you handled that situation. And that's why he's 
thinking so highly of you because he's remembering that maybe you didn't spaz out. You didn't go cursing anyone out. You, you, you handle it with modesty, something like that. Like you were very modest. You may have known what was going on. Like you knew what was going on. Maybe you even tried to talk to someone about it. And maybe he just kind of disregarded you and didn't take it too serious. Or he knew something was going on and he didn't take any type of action to help you out, protect you. That someone stood by and let something happen. There's something like that going on in here. Okay. Mm. And this queen of swords in reverse, this this bit, this poor little ting ting don't even know what to do with herself. Walking in sunshine, darling. Rebirth for you, darling. Okay. These people have been trying to get you out of balance. It's also why this queen of pentacles is out here. They've been trying to affect your finances. Block you from moving forward, trying to bring you sorrows and things like that. But she's exposed whoever's been doing this. And the universe is telling you you're in the clear. Keep your mind on positive thoughts. Even if they did manage to affect your finances, they're telling you to keep your mind on positive thoughts. Everything is going to go out in your favor. This, this, this old chapter is ending so you can move forward into a new one. And they're telling you to move into the new chapter with like bravery be brave be brave and you could have someone maybe trying to assist you maybe from behind the scenes or something like that but it does this is not giving me behind the scenes this is someone intentionally taking some type of action to come towards you this is what i'm getting that is what i'm getting yeah Someone's taking action to come towards you. They want to partner up with you. This could be in marriage, in business, in something. But he's actively taking action. He's not hiding it anymore. That isn't, he's not hiding it. Someone could even be advocating for you behind the scenes because he knows. He knows that something was, that you were wrong or something like that. Yeah, someone is burdened by this though. They're all, yeah. <laughs> I said this woman was overly critical and she's going through her ending and then the hermit comes out in reverse. She's exposed. She's exposed. She's not a wise person. This is someone that criticizes other people because she's insecure. She's exposed. She's not wise. This is someone that pretends to be wise. Someone pretends to be wise. I'm telling you, but she causes a lot of conflict. A lot of conflict. Dang. Like, sometimes my reads when I'm doing it, they terrify me because like I say something and the car would just like flip out and I'm like, shoot. Like, am I manifesting these things or am I just in tune with my cards? But I do know, like, I have, like, the gift of manifestation. I can manifest what I want to because I don't have any ill intent. So I'm not, like, sitting here saying, oh, I want that sucker that got me last week to get hit by a card. Nah, no, 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 no. I tell the universe I need you to handle that one because... Uh, how my energy is set up right now after they just did what they did. You don't want to, you don't want me to see what I want to happen. So I'm just going to let you handle it and I'm going to go on my way. <laughs> and they're telling me, well, it might be justice even if you do. Uh -uh. <laughs> A lot of the times people do stuff and it's not that I don't know. It's just that I'm accustomed to letting the universe interfere. Like take charge. Like just take charge because if I do, it's like this energy will be taking place a lot. This is why I don't. 
So I do my best to stay in this energy always. So when something's happening, I just say, you know what, ancestors, I'm leaving this in your hand. Please inter inter uh, see on my behalf. I'm giving you permission to intercede on my behalf. And this is justice coming in. I'm telling you. You may have extended some type of friendship to a king of uh, wands. And this man betray you or something. Someone knows you're very genuine, but he may be stuck in something. Maybe this is someone that wants to have some type of connection with you. Right? Wants to build with you. He's trying to put an end to an old chapter himself. He may be the one with the child that's not doing too well. Something is going on with the mother. Something in court. But this man does want to build with you. And he's coming out of hiding. Like someone has done a lot of introspection where they understand now that this is who I'm supposed to be with. And someone in the past has had a thing for Jizzy Bells. I don't, know, I don't know if he was a womanizer for some of you. And for some of you, he was trapped in some type of relationship that he could not get out of because of finances. Okay, because of finances. And for some of you, there's a masculine that wants to come towards you, but someone gave him something that he can't get rid of. You'll have to work that out. I mean, before I started working in the medical field, I probably would have had like a different opinion than I have today because I didn't know much about these types of situations. But I would say maybe talk to the person first, maybe get their backstory about how something happened and see what it is you're doing to take care of themselves, their health and things like that before you move forward with them. But don't just cut someone off because, you know, they tell you they had this or they had that. There, There's always a story behind it. And make sure too, they're being honest with you. Like if someone comes into your energy and they're telling you stuff and you just don't feel like they're telling you the truth, then you don't need to force anything with them or make anything work with them, okay? But someone, this masculine, is either stuck in a relationship that he's not happy in and he's coming out of it. There could be a court case going on, like a divorce or something. I think this is what's going on, right? Balance is being brought into the situation. Someone may be taking their son with them or their daughter with them, whoever this is. This could be an emperor as well that's taking their child with them to start over brand new. Him leaving this situation is his... Uh, it's his justice, basically. Him choosing to heal and move on is his justice. Yeah, I'm telling you. It's his justice. The fact that he's choosing to move on with his life. And not stay stuck in some type of unhappy marriage. This could be like a like the same masculine just showing up in different energies. Showing up in his King of Swords energy, King of Wands energy. Right? Because they are in, in our lives, we take on different energies to address different situations. So this could be him showing up in different energies in here. But I want the clarity on this justice card, which I think I already do. It's just this man getting justice in his life, right? He's leaving something out in the cold. Yeah, he's walking away. Leaving something out in the cold. Yeah, and it's his victory. He's in to end this chapter. It's his victory. Clarity on his five of pentacles, please. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, whoever this is ain't doing too good. Dang. They went from the nine of swords to the ten of swords. They're not doing too good. They are not doing too good. Like, there's going to be something exposed about how someone paid people behind the scenes to cause someone a loss. Someone may have paid someone behind the scenes to have someone pull out of a home. Someone maybe having to leave a home that's not theirs. There's something like that going on here. Yeah. Mm 
Mm -mm. Someone is trying to uh, manifest some type of ending for a lover's situation. Like they don't want someone to choose another person. And it goes back to that soul contract thing I was talking about in the beginning. Two people are meant to be together. And there's someone behind the scenes trying to manifest an ending. You could have a woman that's even sending some type of uh, jubilo to you. So you can choose the wrong partner. Don't do that. Like she's sending one of her boy toys to you. So you can end up choosing the wrong person. I literally had a vision of this woman. Now I don't know if she was Caucasian, Asian, whatever the heck she was. I mean, I don't know and I don't care. I saw her in my vision, long black hair in a dress, meeting with a man, giving him some type of information to send him to go and uh, deceive a woman. She had been looking into this woman for a long time, had people looking into this woman for a long time. Now she's maybe planning to send some type of gigolo, her boy toy, to come deceive you and present you with some type of false opportunity. Yeah, uh -huh. illusions, false opportunities so that you don't end up partnering up with your actual soul twin. To stand your ground. You're protected. He may not even be allowed in your energy. He may not be even allowed in your energy. I'm telling you, he may not be allowed. It's like no matter what people are doing, there are two people that are still going to end up together. They're still going to end up together. The like two people are graduating while the rest of the class are staying behind. Remember, we're in school. Emperor came out. I'm telling you, this emperor knows the truth and he's standing for the truth. He sees you for exactly who you are. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And this man has been showing up in a lot of different energies. He knows the truth. Dang. Mm-hmm. You see that? This man knows the truth. He's moving on. He knows the truth. This is someone that, this is an emperor, of course. This is someone healed, balanced, mature, authoritative, but not in a barbaric way. This is someone where they tell you to do something, you'll do it, but not because you're afraid, right? You two just have an understanding. Like if you're in a relationship with this person and they ask you to do something, you're not afraid of them, but you're going to do it because... It's a relationship. You take care of your partner. They take care of you. Like you'll just have mutual respect for each other. It's not a fear thing. This is when the karmics, when they don't have that in their lives, and they come to your home and they see your husband or your partner telling you to please get them a drink of water, and you go to get it, and then the juicy bell comes in your ear telling you why can't he get his own water? My mother sucker, mind your business. Mind your business. Why aren't you shutting up? That's why I'll be asking. You know, some the fact that I'm saying that is that either this emperor or someone in here is with a loudmouth woman, an insecure woman, that if he asks her, I'm telling you, this this emperor here could be your soul twin, darling. The Empress has already shown out. And he knows who you are. He thinks highly of you. He thinks highly of you, darling. And I just saw the chariot. Yes. Anyways, back to what I was saying. There's someone in here that's with a woman that's very loud mouth, obnoxious, ghetto as heck, insecure. When this man asks her to do something. More than likely, she's telling him, why don't you go do it yourself? What's wrong with your legs? What's wrong with your hands? There's a female in here that does that. There's a female in here that does that. Like, this is not a... Whatever relationship he was in, it's not what... I'm telling you, this is your emperor. Honey, I am not pulling any more cards. 
I am not putting any more cars. What this is, is what I'm understanding now. You could have three masculines that are interested in you, but only one is the true masculine. So you're going to have to be careful not to pick the wrong one. Or this could be your emperor showing up in different energies. Honey, I'm human. It is what it is. This, this feminine energy that this person is getting away from that he's been trapped with for I don't know how long. She's one of those. Hey, babe, can you give me some water to drink? Go get it yourself. What's wrong with your legs? I'm tired. Hmm? What if you need a, a glass of water and you told him, is he supposed to get the glass of water then? If this man is sick and he asked her for help, she probably just left him laying there. Maybe went out to get drunk with her friends. What kind of woman is that? And this would be the same type of women that will step out feeling bad and bougie about themselves. Airheaded as can be. Don't have a goddamn thing going on upstairs. But a whole, whole lot of business going on downstairs with different parties. Mm, 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 mm. You see the nine down here? Something is done. This emperor is done with someone. He's moving on. He wants to have a family. This man wants to have an actual family. One that is loving. Caring, nurturing. He wants to be with a partner that actually gives two cents about him. Not using him for his money. <laughs> so I got to be careful. The people we end up with, I don't know if they were ever in love or she just decided to get with him because he was stable or something. Whatever it was, this emperor has had enough of it. He said, I'm done with this. I'm done with this. This tool is going to come out. I am going to let it come out. This man said, I'm done. I'm moving out. Or you got to get out. He could be putting her out. And she's busy out here trying to manifest the ending. But don't let them get together. They will not get together. And sources that, um... You know, upstairs here, they're already together. Yeah. They're already together upstairs. And it's about to happen downstairs. So I don't know what to tell you about that. Like, um, <laughs> sorry to tell you. Public announcement. The Earth Angels are coming together. Public announcement. The Earth Angels are coming together at long last. This is like two soulmates meeting again. This is a past life connection. With this six of cups out here, this is a past life connection. The woman may have passed away in the previous lifetime. And she already met the man. So if she passed away in the previous lifetime, she would have been the one to find him. Because basically she left before him by the fact that she died first. Or she could have made a promise to him in a past life that she will find him in the next lifetime. But these two have been together before many, many lifetimes. Yeah. Many, many lifetimes. It's what I'm being told. These two have been together before. This is a past life connection. No wonder these people are trying to block it. No wonder they're trying to block it. And for some of you, this could be like not a twin, but a higher level soulmate. Because, you're, because your actual twin forfeited the mission. He got sidetracked by Dizzy Bell energy. And he stuck with her. So he's going to have to try again next lifetime. That's if you even incarnate again. You may be done with your ascension as far as on this realm. You may have a higher calling now to mentor other souls. So you may not be incarnating again with this person for them to get it right. So they're going to have to be going through some type of karma with the rest of the karmics in karmic veil until they get it right. Meanwhile, you're about to be ascending in color. You could be you could be going from blue to purple. You're officially a royal in the spirit realm. Okay. 
because you ascend as you as you incarnate you are ascending you see like the colors of the rainbow that is like our souls ascending it starts off with red when we are over trusting people we may be fearful like all of our emotions they're over over the top from red to orange to yellow all of those you think of like children right they're over trusting over loving they trust everybody they don't know who's who we have to tell them don't go there don't do that stay away from that person don't talk to strangers so that's what the red yellow red orange and yellow are they don't quite have control of their emotions here or their mental yet they're still going through those steps right by the time you get to let's say green then you are healing this is when you're aging and maturing you're doing the things that you need to do to grow to heal that's why green is the color of healing you're healing on the physical realm and ascending in the uh, spirit realm and we all start off at a specific level how quickly you ascend up this the, the color the ladder is up to you it's up to you no one can control that no one can stop that so if you incarnate and you come here and you get involved with the karmics and you want to cause a lot of destructions and things like that it's going to take you long to freaking ascend this is why some people incarnate for four or five lifetimes don't learn a goddamn thing and they keep repeating the same cycle same cycle same cycle having to learn the same karmic lesson and they never get tired so you make it from red you go to orange you go to uh, yellow which has to do with like intelligence orange has to do with passion being compassionate loving and things like that and children have a lot of their emotions and they give it to people freely which is nothing wrong with it but we have to teach them you know hey you can't just be loving everybody because some you got to be careful with who you know you're letting around you or who you're going to you can't go to that person's house we're not trying to shut down the emotions. We're just trying to teach them how to properly manage it. Okay? They get to freaking yellow. It has to do with intelligence, bravery, things like that, being wise and things like that. So they're taking all of these qualities and embedding it into themselves and personifying it in healthy ways. Exercising or utilizing them in healthy ways. And as they go up the ladder... The school grades, right, they're ascending. They get to green. At green is healing. You are acquiring all, the, all of those healing tricks, healing abilities and things like that. Becoming self-aware, knowing the things that kind of set you up, knowing who you are. Once you know who you are, you're able to heal other people and things like that because you've already healed yourself, right? You go to blue. You can be a mentor now. You're a soul guide. And then you get to orange, I mean to a uh, uh, purple. Well, honey, hasta la vista. This is where you get to when you don't really need to be incarnating and things like that, but you can choose to. This is why purple is purple is a royal color for a reason. There are spiritual meanings to the colors that we see in the rainbow. But they don't teach us these things in public school. So we just walk around clueless. We see a rainbow. We say, oh, look, it's a rainbow. You think there's a pot, a gold, a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? You mother sucker. That is the, your soul ascension la uh, layers. The classes we're going through. You start off in the, on the first level, which is red. Second level is orange. Third level is yellow. Fourth, green. Fifth, blue. <laughs> you have... A uh, uh, violet, indigo, all of that. Like, what the heck? You know what? <laughs> I know for some, one thing, when you all leave this page today, this channel today, you're never going to see a rainbow the same again. Because you're not going to understand what it actually is, what a rainbow is. It, the things you see around you, they're not just there accidentally. Everything has a symbolic meaning. Everything has a symbolic meaning to it. So the rainbow, I know they say it's in the Bible. It was a promise from God. And it's, uh, miss me with the BS. Miss me with the BS. 
You want to believe that? That's up to you. Okay? But your soul is supposed to be ascending. Every day that you wake up, you're supposed to be healing and growing and improving. Not staying stagnant with a group of clowns. Teaching you how to be low vibrational and you think it's all he he ha ha oh i got I, I got to do this to her today i got to do this to him today she's such an air hair now realizing the air hair is actually laughing at you and they're just looking at you with pity is it god dang it i pity you like you wake up and do this every day and you don't see a problem with it you don't see a problem with it bless your soul it's a lot of tools out here. A lot of tools out here. Okay, which has to do with coming together. And as I said, these two people, the soulmates, the soul twins, higher level soulmate who, they're coming together. There's nothing people... You see what the card is we ended with? Familia. Family. Family. And what do you see on here? A couple and children. Family. An empire. Right? Have their own property, their own paradise. This is what two people have, are about to have. And this is what people have been trying to block. Can't block it. You all have to value yourself. Value your own mental before valuing someone else's. People should not be able to tell you to partake in low vibrational activity. And you just think... Oh, well, I don't want them to think that I'm the one with the problem in the group. I don't want them to think that I'm funny. I don't want them to think that I'm this and I'm that. So I'm going to do whatever it is they're saying so I can fit in. Why the heck do you want to fit in with people? This is that when we're in middle school, elementary, middle school, high school, the peer pressure. You want to tell me at your age you're still dealing with peer pressure? You haven't learned how to say no. And this would be the very people that go home and tell their kids, don't be following that little girl to her house and stuff, hanging out with those other kids. I don't like how they behave or how they talk. Meanwhile, you go to work, you partner up with your colleagues to bully other people, don't have a mind of your own, but you want to give your kid a lecture at home about how to have a mind of your own. Make it make sense, Karen. Make it make sense, Betty. Make it make sense. Don't have a lick of your mind of your own. But you want to tell your child how to have a how to have a mind of their own. Hypocrisy. Two, you have great talent for finding solutions. Lord, my Liberian accent be <laughs> kicks in there and it just be taking the rest of the words out. You have great talent for finding solutions. Your intuitive and unbiased nature allow you to see all sides of any situation and advise others towards the most fair and beneficial outcome. I am diplomatic. And be <laughs> collective, thank you all for watching, but please be genuine and honest with yourself. Are you diplomatic or you need to start working on being diplomatic? The process of healing has to do with us being honest with ourselves. And I can tell you the things that I am and the things that I'm not. So when someone comes to me and tell me what the heck they think I am, I just be looking at them like, uh, you BSing. I know what I am. What I am is not that. Okay? 2226 has to do with healing, moving on, growing, putting in effort to elevate, to ascend. Anyway, trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you are nourishing them with words, feelings, and actions. I am balanced. Diplomatic, balanced. 10-10, completion. Fresh start. New beginnings. Okay? This message is absolutely just being reiterated through these, through these cards. Beautiful. Keep your thoughts positive and be patient as everything is working out for your highest good. Trust that your angels are working behind the scenes to help you. I am patient. I know I mentioned something here about keeping your mind on positive thoughts. And here it is. Our card is reiterating the same thing. So, shall we, do we have anything else that we need to say? Uh, no, I don't think so. Anyways, thank you all for watching so much. Stay blessed.
and goodbye for now.